soft IA during cataract surgery using the soft IA silicon tip from MST. Using a traditional steel IA tip allows metal to contact the delicate posterior capsule and increases the risk of posterior capsule rupture, as we see here. When we closely examine the steel tip, we notice at the aspiration port a sharp burr. The new silicon soft IA tip is completely encased in silicon and does not allow metal to contact the posterior capsule. It is therefore very gentle on the posterior capsule. Here we see, again in slow motion, direct occlusion with the posterior capsule. We see the spider-like striae. We apply the vacuum, yet no metal contacts the posterior capsule and the capsule stays completely intact. This is far more gentle on the posterior capsule than the traditional IA tips. We can also use this grip surface to tilt the eye well to help with viscoelastic removal. This same grippy surface can then be used to dial in the eye well into the capsular bag. The grippy surface can also be used to flip an epinuclear plate as we see here or to ball up the subincisional nucleus with friction and remove it as a single piece. We can also use this surface to polish the posterior capsule without the use of vacuum. Even here with no vacuum, we'll clean the capsule and you'll see it's completely clear of any debris. Finally, there's no metal-to-metal -metal contact when we use a second instrument to push nuclear pieces into the aspiration port. For these reasons, the silicon soft IA tip maximizes efficiency. Here you'll see complete cortex removal in about 15 seconds. At the same time, it minimizes risks to the capsule because of its soft and grippy surface. Due to these many advantages, I anticipate that using the soft silicon IA tips will be the trend for future cataract surgery. Thank you for your time.